questions tonight is what this means for Collins's election, his re-election battle here in western New York, with the vote less than three months away. Between your sides, Claudine Ewing has been looking into that today. The arrest of a sitting congressman facing re-election in November will have implications. What does this mean for November for Chris Collins? It's a good question. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing preventing him from running, uh, even with this hanging over his head, and that's a decision he's going to have to make. Collins will have to decide if he will continue. His opponent, Democrat Nathan McMurray, has little money, and one Republican analyst told me before today Collins was destined to, quote, walk all over McMurray. But now... Any legal problem for any incumbent at this point in election year is, is bad. There's no, there's no good that can come from it. It's, it's a bad situation going into it. The Grand Island supervisor who wants to go to Congress held a press conference around the time Collins appeared in federal court. The atmosphere was like a post-election celebration. The FBI shot him! <laughs> but we had direct questions. Do you think that uh, Collins <coughs> should resign? I think Chris Collins should, should learn from what happened today and look at his heart and do the right thing. Should he resign? That's his decision to make. I leave it up to him. The 27th congressional district seat has more enrolled Republicans and skews conservative. For now, Collins can continue to serve in Congress because there is no law nor any rules of the House of Representatives stopping a person accused of a felony from serving in Congress. And there's this, a conviction of insider trading, if this turns into a conviction, does not stop someone from continuing to serve in Congress. And Claudine, any word yet from the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee? Of course there is, but first we should mention that McMurray says he's already getting more campaign money today than he has for the entire time mm. since he announced that he was going to run. But according to the DCCC, they say the seat is firmly in play now for Democrats, and they also say that Collins' ethics issues have already been on their radar well before today. Mm. Interesting. Interesting to follow this over the next couple of months, that's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely, and we will. Thank you, Claudine.